In this video, I wanted to show you how to synchronize your files between your local server and your web or remote server. Uh, so this is pretty much where we ended up on the last movie, There's the same screen. I have the files window open, but if you remember, I click this button here to expand it. Um, so you can see both the web server on the left and your local server and your local files on the right. So synchronizing is really as easy as clicking on this little button here, which will synchronize with the remote server. Before I do that, though, I want to just go ahead and connect to the remote server so we can talk about that for a minute. Yes, dear. And so I just clicked on those little plugs over here. And this is not too different from what you may see. When you open up your web server, there are already going to be some files in there. It may not be as many as you see here on the screen, but that's not unusual. And uh, what I want to start by saying is, don't mess with these files. They are server-side files that have to do with how the server functions and delivers your files to the browser. They need to be in there, and it's actually fairly simple to delete them if you aren't paying attention to your synchronized settings. So we'll cover that in just a minute. So these files are already there. They're going to stay there, and then you want to add your local files to the web server files. I'm going to go ahead and click on the synchronize button. You'll notice it's grayed out now, but if I click on the local server side, I get access to this button. And then it will bring up this little window that asks uh, how you would like to synchronize. And so here are your choices. You can sync your entire website or you can synchronize just selected local files. So we want to do the whole website, so I'm going to choose that. And then there's this, direction. And what that means is how do you want to deal with the files on each of your servers? Uh, one choice is to get and put newer files. And what get means is that you go to the remote server and get some files and then put them on your local server. To put means you take files from your local server and you put them up to your remote server. So this is also known as uploading. Do you want to download, which is get? Do you want to upload, which is put? Or do you want to do both? This choice will allow you to do both. So let me just click on the preview button here and you can see what that will do. So it'll take a moment to read the files on the two directories and compare them. And remember I told you Dreamweaver does a really good job of keeping track for you which files have changed. And so you'll see right now that up at the top here, these are files that would be put. So these are files that are currently on your local server that don't exist on your remote server. And so it would put those files. And then here are some files on your remote server that aren't on your local server. And therefore, it will get those files and, and give them to you at the local level. Now, there really isn't a reason for you to have these files at your local level, but if you want a complete and total backup of your web server, then you should do that, just so you can you know, re-upload absolutely everything if you need to. So I'll leave that up to you, but generally, I don't take that path. I make a different choice when I'm going to synchronize. So I'm just going to click Cancel here and click on the Synchronize button again. And you'll see there are a couple other choices. So you can get newer files from the remote server, or you can put newer files to the remote server. So that's normally what I choose. So I'm going to click on that. Now, here is a button you shouldn't check. Because if I click this and then I synchronize, it will actually delete all of these files over here. You do not want to do that. So I'd say as a general practice, especially when you're learning, do not check that box. And so I'm going to synchronize entire website. The direction I'm giving it is to put newer files to the remote. And now I'm going to preview. It'll go through that same process again. And you'll see there are, are many fewer files listed here. So it's saying all of these files here exist locally. They do not exist on the remote site. Would you like to put those there? Yes. And the answer is going to be yes. So I'm just going to click on OK. And then it will take just a little bit to, uh, to upload those files. So we're uploaded, and uh, 
you can see that it has added some folders in here. There is the Project 1 folder, which is now on your remote server, and there is the in-class folder with those files. Now, something I don't have over here yet is an index page. So I'm going to create an index page and then continue this movie once I have, and we'll see that. Okay, so I've created a home page for our website. So this is index.html, and I've uh, put on here, aside from this glorious picture of myself, uh, a link that would take me to the self-portrait project, the one we did in earlier videos. And I have that open here, and this is exactly as we created it. This is the page that we hand-coded before. Uh, in Dreamweaver, though, I went in and I created a link that will take me back to the index page or the home page. So this is an existing page that's been modified. This is a brand new page that's never been uploaded. And so this is going to be the power that you will discover the Dreamweaver has, the ability to organize and coordinate your files as you make changes to them at the local level and then synchronize them uh, to your web server. And uh, that way your local files match your remote files, which is always what you want to happen. Let's go ahead and go back to the expanded view of our files window and take a look at this. What so here's the new index page and over here on the remote server there is no index page. I have a project one folder over here on the local server and inside of that is a project one HTML file. I go over here, here's project one and there also is a project one HTML file. But you'll notice that the, uh, the creation times for the file are different. And so what Dreamweaver will do when we synchronize, it'll compare the two sides back and forth and find the files that either aren't in the web server or have been modified. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on the Synchronize button and use the same settings we used earlier. Click Preview. And there we go. So it is looking at the remote files and saying, hey, where did this come from? You didn't have that before. Do you want me to add it? And what's this page? Uh, where did that come from? And then finally, wait a minute, something's changed here. So do you want me to put these files to the web server? Of course, the correct answer would be OK. okay. It's done. And uh, now if you look over here, you can see that we have an index file and that this, uh, this Project 1 file has an updated date on it. And so let's go take a look at this uh, on a browser, shall we? Yes! All right, I've already got the address typed in here, so I'm just going to refresh the view or hit the Enter key. And there we go. So we are now live on the internet. This has been uploaded. And you'll see that when I click on this link, it will take me over to this page. Click on this link. It takes me back to that page. So I probably made this video a little longer than it needed to be. Shut up! But this is a really key component to working with Dreamweaver because one of the magical things about creating files for the web is that Changes can be made easily and then uploaded very quickly. And so it's a very immediate medium, if you will. Huh? And Dreamweaver makes it easy for you to make these changes and to quickly upload them to your server and have everything working as it should. Groovy.